funny looking cone shaped mountains out there. Whoop. 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 Good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm on my way to some volcanoes in France which I thought was kind of uh, interesting. Not expecting to see uh, volcanoes in France. And there they are, just under those clouds. Find uh, the trailhead here, wherever that is. It's in some little village. I'm sure I'll be lost, but it's supposed to just be like a 20 minute drive. And I'm uh, gonna hike up to those things and look down inside them, hopefully. So we'll see what's waiting for us. <laughs> And that right there was drinking water. You can drink that. And in fact, in some of the towns, you have uh, sparkling water coming out of those things. And you can just bring a bottle and you have uh, fresh sparkling water. So still trying to find the trailhead, but almost there. All right, this is the place, found the parking. As you can see, it's uh, 11 degrees outside Celsius. That's about 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty chilly. It's only September like 15th. So kind of cold. We're not even that high in elevation. So it's just kind of a cold season this year. Uh, it's about 11.45. It's supposed to rain around two or three. So the Circuit du Pariu. Pariu is the name of the volcano I'm looking for, so I'm hoping this goes there. Places like thermal pools where you can go and, and bathe and it's you know heated naturally by the, the thermal activity that's happening under these volcanoes good chance to show you what uh, one of the local plants here are uh, these are nettles right here before coming to France uh, I'd only heard the word nettles I didn't know what they were but uh, these guys here are poisonous not extremely poisonous but if you touch them uh, they sort of attach to your skin there's little tiny tiny spikes on there and uh, they inject poison into you and you get kind of itchy. You'll get like a rash, but it's not really bad. After like an hour, it's kind of gone. So, uh, but in true French fashion, they do make food out of these. Um, once you cook them, the poison leaves and you can make a soup out of that. And they also make beer out of it, um, which I've had. And it's the one I had tasted to be honest, a lot like piss. Not that I've tasted piss, but what I imagine piss would taste like. It wasn't very good, but it was an experience. I had nettle beer, and uh, and there you can see those little tiny spikes on there. I don't know if you can see that, but I think they're all over the leaves too, just way smaller. But they, uh, there they are, right on the leaves. See those? And you see those little... Definitely where I want. 
want to be going right now. <laughs> I'm cold, man. I just got a flannel on. I do have a scarf in my bag and a rain jacket, so... I keep thinking I'm going to get out of this forest and it's going to warm up, but it hasn't happened yet. Right, a little patch of sunlight here. But, a small one. <laughs> it's nice and warm right here. Well, back into the cold. Alright. I can't be sure, but we might be coming out of that forest for good now. About to turn a corner into the light baby get me to the light yeah that's what i've been waiting for awesome okay oh we're already here this is the volcano oh yeah all right looks like there's a trail that goes down into the crater there i'm gonna get up get up top first I think and see what there is wow I was expecting like uh, another 30 minutes or something but that was fast that was probably a 30 40 minute hike and we're gonna have some views and it's not raining yet so beautiful all right I'm gonna try to get up there and just to my right in fact all around me I'm starting to see little volcanoes we are in volcano land right now. There's one volcano right in front of us. Clearly with the shape there. And there's more. All in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Big one there. Seven. And just up ahead we have the Puy de Dome, which is, I believe, the largest volcano in this region, and by far the most popular. There's like a train that goes up there and everything. And that's, I believe that's a radio tower on top or a weather station or something, but you can hike it too. It's, it takes a, quite a bit longer than this one, but there's a train there now. I actually got to uh, paraglide off that. Uh, this is a real popular, paragliding mountain and a friend of a friend was a professional paraglider and he took us out and we did it and that's I think it's really popular now because they have the train that goes up so you buy a pass and then you can sort of go you know fly down and then you take the train up so it's really practical for them they can spend hours there because you got to carry that all that gear up you know, so the train really helps them out, I guess. All right, made it to the top. Um, I have a great view right now of the Puy de Dome. There it is, that's a big one right there. And I'm almost 100% sure these are all dormant volcanoes. They're not active, I mean, they got, uh, you know, plants growing all over them and they just don't look very active. And I think I would have uh, heard something about it. <laughs> if they were active and just down here all right so i was at the top there i'm going to come down the other side that is the city of clermont ferrand where michelin tires comes from that is the home of michelin tires and in fact that is kind of the only reason that city exists or at least that's why it started out because of the success of that company and nice fall colors here season is changing that's for sure whether I like it or not summer is over man and I feel it it is cold right now September 15th early autumn here good go back up top here and see what kind of views there are so happy I got up here before the rain and there's still some good light And we can't see the volcano I'm currently at, the Puy de Pariu, because of these plants, but I'm gonna go down here and sort of wrap around the uh, 
other side of the crater here. So, so this is the other side of the crater from where I arrived, the opposite side. And there's the view of all those volcanoes there. I'm sure each one has a name. And there's this, I'm on the edge of an old volcano right now. I'm on the rim. So however long ago, thousands, millions of years, this was a bubbling, hot, erupting volcano. So, so cool. And there, as you can see in the distance there, there, all, there are volcanoes pretty much in every direction. And although these are dormant volcanoes, the thermal activity continues underground. Like I was telling you earlier, all the thermal tubs, the thermal hot springs, all that stuff is still happening. And here's the inside of the crater from here. Little birds getting the seeds from the flowers. Look at that. Great views. Volcanoes in France. Who knew? You just never know what you're going to find. Thankfully. <laughs> Alright, so that's where I came up off the trail there. So literally come full circle around the whole circumference of this volcano. Went up there, walked around, saw great views of the Puita Dome from there, came down, and then just walked all the way around to here. And now, I'm gonna go down in. So here we are, deep inside the crater. Uh, dormant volcano, but a long time ago this was a fiery pool. Pretty incredible. Give you a little uh, panorama from inside a volcano. Looks like a good seat right there. <laughs> stones um, which are actually quite famous in this area in fact the city there that we saw Clermont-Ferrand that we saw from the top is largely at least the old city is largely built from these volcanic stones and so that gives the city sort of a black gray look which is quite odd and in, the, in winter it's uh, you know a little bit dark <laughs> and uh but these stones here these are a great building material i mean that is that is gonna last forever <laughs> trippy scene from inside the volcano. All these kind of purpley pink hues growing out of the inside of this volcano. Volcano flowers.
as you can see, it looks like there is rain on the Puita Dome. There are vertical stripes coming down, and that is usually rain. Right, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, volcanoes in France, who knew? This is the Puy de Paris, and as you can see, there's plenty more volcanoes uh, all around. There's one, and there's a lot more right there. Uh, if I do end up going to the thermal hot springs, the thermal pools, I will put it at the end of this video. If not, I'll put a link down below so you can check those out. Volcanoes in France. Pretty nice. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. You guys take care, and stay curious. You never know what you're going to find.